Today's quick tip will showcase the Zoom whiteboard. So first I'll show you how you can set it up and some of the options when you create a Zoom meeting. So you would create a meeting like you would anything else, any other meeting, um, but you have the option to add a whiteboard. Um, you can just use a blank one or you could just create one within the meeting. So you can use kind of recent whiteboards, but they also provide some whiteboard templates um, that could be fun for you to play around with. And so it kind of depends on what you want. Um, you can also open up these templates in advance of class or your Zoom meeting and edit them to make them more functional for what you need them to do. I want to note that many of you have used uh, Google Jamboard in the past, which is going away at the end of this year. So this is a really great um, alternative to kind of have under your belt. So there's so many different options. Um, you can go to your whiteboards here and you can kind of pre-create one if you'd like. So if you want to take one of these templates and you want to modify it before your meeting, you can, uh, you can do that here and then you can name it something unique and add it to your meeting. So now let's go to a meeting and open the whiteboard. I will add a whiteboard to this one so we can see what that looks like. And hopefully it will also just allow us to create something new if we want. So I'm gonna do a template because it's fun. We'll do this fun fact one. So I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna start our meeting. All right, so here's the meeting. And so to look for the whiteboard, you have this option down here, uh, whiteboards. And so you can look at existing whiteboards. So again, this is where you could pull up other whiteboards that you've created. You have a whiteboard that you've customized for this meeting in advance, you can pull that up. You also um, can pull up the templates here as well. So um, you can choose whether or not you want people to engage with it, typically yes. Um, or if you just wanna show it as kind of an organizer, you can do that and you can use it basically like you would a whiteboard in a classroom. So especially if you had a tablet and you are the kind of person that likes to write on the board during a class, for example, this can basically replace that. And so if you wanted to just present it and use the whiteboard as kind of a place for a lecture, then you might just switch to presentation uh, uh, mode. So I'm gonna create, um, it automatically starts um, sharing. Here I use this template and so people can write on the different stickies here. This is just operating very slowly, I'm sorry. Um, they can add stickies, right? They can change the colors of their stickies. Okay. Um, they can add images play with the font. There's a lot of different options. Um, there's, again, there's stuff over here. People can write comments. Me too. Um, they can draw shapes. Um, and then pen. So this is, again, if you kind of want to use the right whiteboard more as a means to lecture or something like that, you can do that. Um, and then there's other things, kind of other options here that you can include, including embedding content. You can decide who can initiate whiteboards or not. Like if you want students to go into breakout rooms, you might have um, all participants as an option. So I'm gonna close the whiteboard. I'm gonna click on this whiteboard again, and now I can also create a new whiteboard. And this time I'm not using a template of any kind. I'm just gonna be using a blank whiteboard. And so again, you can have students use this. You could have it in presentation mode so that only um, you can write on it, okay? You can do whatever you need to do 
on the whiteboard. So you can uh, share your whiteboard um, so that pe other people can access the board or view the board. Um, and what happens is after you close out of your Zoom meeting, the whiteboard automatically gets saved. If you go back to your Zoom, you can go to whiteboards. You can find the recent whiteboards. You can essentially download them or save them and share them with your students or whoever else may have participated. So that's whiteboards. Very cool tool and creates functionality for Zoom and good replacement for Jamboard if you use it. Thank you.